So hello, good afternoon, or like the Dutch people are saying, goede middag. We are in the tiny little village of Ilpendam in the Netherlands. And thank you for watching. And what I would like to do in this episode is give you a little update um, about what is going on in my life because a lot of stuff is happening. And now I can tell you that while I am just here in boring little Ilpendam, or we can go to Amsterdam and let's do that. Um, I'm heading to Amsterdam and uh, I will pick up my boyfriend there uh, because it is Sunday today and he has to work and I love to be in Amsterdam and he too. So I will walk there and in the meanwhile I can show you the city of Amsterdam and I can tell you about four major decisions that I made and really daring decisions I can say and um, that will affect my life. There will be some changes coming. <laughs> I started to work with a coach. I'm working with this life and business coach and she's a quantum leadership expert. Uh, it really helps me. No. Part of it was the quantum business retreat in Portugal. And oh boy, that was intense. That was really an intense week. But I also learned a lot about myself. I learned to reconnect with myself and with my heart. I felt that inner child again, I found it. Um, that happy, joyful little floor. And I discovered my deepest dreams and desires. And I know what I have to do here. <laughs> I know what I want to do. And of course I already knew it, but sometimes uh, it's hard to really go for your dreams but this is really the starting point I want to say that for everyone who wants to come to Amsterdam, it's always cold and windy here, so be prepared. <laughs> One of the most powerful questions that my coast asked me when we started in August, September um, was, are you willing to make difficult decisions? And I directly answered uh, to her, yes, I am. I am willing to make difficult decisions to live my dreams. Because sometimes you have to make sacrifices to go somewhere. And the decision that I made after that uh, conversation with her is that I quit alcohol. And that's now more than 100 days ago. And my coach didn't even know it in the beginning because I didn't tell her uh, because I really quit alcohol for myself. And sometimes people think if you are working towards a big goal, uh, yeah, you have to make sacrifices. But for me, quitting alcohol, it doesn't feel like a sacrifice because I feel myself so much fitter and uh, mental cl clearer, clearer in my head. Uh, that's not a sacrifice. That's a gift that I gave to myself. And I'm really happy that I did that. The plan is to quit alcohol uh, for one year uh, because forever is really long. But first we will start for one year. And why one year? Yeah, because I have a big running goal in around one year from now, nine months. And that's the third big decision.
Okay, I hope you can uh, hear me because there's always a lot of noise. But decision number three. I put my name in a lottery for an epic and brutal race in the USA. Uh, and I'm really stoked about it and I'm really afraid as well. But it is a lottery, so I don't know if I if they will draw my name or not. I know that in January and if not, there's also no problem because I will find another race because I am going to complete this dream, my big running goal in 2023 because that's one thing that's for sure but I hope and fingers crossed that it is for that race where I put my name in yeah and here we are uh, at the famous Dom square that's the palace and this is also the place where always are protests and demonstrations. So there are also some people now. And the pigeons of course. <laughs> See? All those damn pigeons. <laughs> yeah, and I always love to be in big cities because I have the feeling that I am part of an organism. Because there's so much energy in a city and that's really what I like. The last bold decision that I made, or I have to say we made, because we will move. We will move out of the Netherlands and we are going back to Eastern Europe. Um, because I signed up for a race and it's a mountain race. And if it is not this race, it will be a different race and it will be a mountain race. And I can't trade in the Flat Netherlands. Uh, and my heart is not here. My heart is in Eastern Europe. So we are going to move back. And yeah, I can't say a lot about it. I only can say that it's now December and in we will go by the end of this year or in January. So, but in January I will come back with an update. and. Um, yeah, then I will tell you where we are going to live and uh, if they draw my name from the lottery or not if I still don't drink alcohol and I will work with that coach and by the way, uh, this shopping street is called the Kalverstraat and this is the most crowded street ever <laughs> so, but it's really nice, I like it I am almost at my boyfriend's work, workplace and he's really working in the center of Amsterdam uh, but I forgot two things first thing is about my boyfriend because I am really grateful that he supports me in my dreams and that he is okay with giving up his job and moving out of the Netherlands again and find a new job in a new country yeah it's i'm really really grateful for that that's real love i will tell him that and i see him <laughs> and the second thing is um what can you expect from me and to see i will make videos on a more regular basis and you can expect some little vlogs like this if there is too much <laughs> happening then i will give a little update and training videos you can expect and also yeah videos of my big runs and adventures <laughs> and challenges uh, because there is a lot coming this year Okay, it's almost 4 o'clock, so my boyfriend uh, will finish soon. I'm almost there and uh, I will say to you, uh, bye, doei. Uh, I will see you in January with the next video. Bye.